Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we are going to explain how to get around PowerShell Azure Hell when you're trying to connect to Azure through PowerShell, like you can see on the screen here, but you're getting prompts for Internet Explorer, which you can't modify for one of a number of reasons. Number one, Internet Explorer is no longer supported. It's dead. Two, in the case that you're looking at right now, Internet Explorer is still locked down by GPO, so I can't add in a trusted site, which means I can't sign in. So let's show you the error and we'll show you how to get around it. It's not hard, but it sure as heck isn't obvious. So this is a fresh machine and what you're going to want to do is firstly grab the Azure AD module. So do install module. I just have complete on that, by the way, and then Azure AD and yes. and A for all. And now try the simple connect Azure AD usual command that we all do. And so as you can see, this machine came up in Spanish. You can ignore that. The point here is that because I've got two factor authentication set up, it launched Internet Explorer and there's no really obvious way around it. Unfortunately, a lot of the machines that I'm working on, they don't even get this far because the authentication page is not on a trusted site. And I can't add the site because GPO is locked down. That's a long story to get around. Close this window, get a bunch of error messages. So now how do you fix it? The short answer is to do something called user device authentication. And what that lets you do is launch your system's default browser manually and then enter a code. So let's show you how that works. Not very hard, but it's a couple of steps. First thing you've got to do is install the module. So let's just type in install dash module dash AZ. Now this is huge and I mean, it's going to take a minute. So say A for all here, we're going to skip through it so you don't have to wait, but yes, this will take several minutes and I mean minutes. So we'll be back. That took a solid three minutes. The next step is going to take a couple minutes too, but not as long. So it's just import module AZ. We'll be back in a minute when it's done. That took about three minutes as well, but seemed to go a little faster. Okay, so now what we need to do is connect using device authentication. So that's simple enough. You simply type in connect. I just used tab complete for that, by the way. Use device authentication and look what it tells you says to go to this address. I'm just going to copy paste. I'm going to use Edge, you use Chrome, Firefox, whatever you want. Go to device login and enter that code. This code changes every time, by the way, so I don't have a problem having you see it. Also, you don't know what machine I'm working on, so I'm not too worried about it. So now I'll just sign in like usual. Yep. I'm trying to sign into PowerShell and now look. I'm in! Yay! So if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe is also always appreciated, and you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.